Hello and welcome to week 109. So it's the week after Thanksgiving. Um, hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I went down to Williamsburg and we had the usual dinner and I basically just had a little bit of everything. Um, but like a very little bit. We, we don't go like all out, like maybe three side dishes, I think. Um, three or four. And uh, I made fresh bread, so I did have half a piece of that. Um, and it was pretty good. Uh, and I have one bite of cheesecake. <laughs> but I really didn't like feel like I was missing out on anything, you know, just like having a, ta a little taste of everything and most importantly, not getting sick or dumping um, made it worth it. <laughs> so, unfortunately, <laughs> Uh, my weight is up 0.4, so it's pretty insignificant, I guess. Um, so yeah, I am at one, it still feels weird to say one, at 190.2, so up 0.4 from last week when I was in the 180s. Um, but I have no doubt that I'll be back in the 180s uh, pretty soon. <laughs> So that brings my total weight loss since surgery to 106.8 and my weight loss from my highest weight of be down 129.8. Um, so yeah, that was that's kind of like the bad thing about just being up like 0.4 is that now I'm like, I've missed like the bigger numbers like being down 130 something <laughs> or being in the 180s but uh you know it's just a number and I'll be back there soon um yeah one of the things that I have recently done is try on other people's clothes <laughs> which has never been an option like any time in my entire life um so that's been really weird uh Things that fit have been really weird. Um, and also I just see like the major difference in just people's body weight and how it's like distributed and, you know, height. Like I had tried on pants of someone who is 10 pounds less than me, a little taller, and I, she was giving away jeans and I was like, oh, bring me up a, a small pair of jeans and just so I can have, or, you know, of, of her jeans, small to me, <laughs> so I can compare. And they were like a size 10 and they fit. Um, they're not like a style that I like uh, because they're like mid-rise and straight leg, so I probably wouldn't wear them. Um, but it's nice to see, you know, progress. Because the first day she gave them to me, they didn't fit. And then like maybe two or three weeks later, they did. Uh, and I must have been bloated or something like the day before because I don't think I've, I've lost enough enough weight where like I went down the size. <laughs> um, and then I tried on some like non-stretch size 10 and 12 and both of those fit. Not necessarily comfortably. Like I'm sure, you know, I couldn't eat a Thanksgiving meal and then sit down comfortably <laughs> in them afterwards. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's weird. Um, but it also just goes to show that I am really glad that I have not spent that much on clothes. Um, because I'm definitely not where I want to be yet. And if you would have told me like two years ago, um, you know, you're going to want, you'll be less than a size 10. Uh, I wouldn't have believed you. Like I would have thought, my goal weight of 150 was a size 10. Um, so I probably it's around an eight is what it would end up being, I think. Um, so that's like 40 more pounds to lose. Uh, and like I said, it's the sizes vary so much. Like they could have been like larger tens. I don't know. Um, and I wouldn't say that I'm a size 10. I'm probably a size, tw a size 12 um, is what I would myself on now unfortunately the only pants that I have are or bottoms I guess 
are leggings or torrid, which are like overly generous. And so I wear a double zero um, there, which I think is like a 10, 12. Um, but like a 10, 12 plus size is like a 12, 14 straight size. <laughs> I think I've gone through all the sizing stuff with y'all before, but I just thought I'd mention it because I like barely try on <laughs> new clothes. Uh, with the pandemic, I think in Virginia, they just started letting people back in dressing rooms, but I haven't been in one other than Torrid. And when I went to Torrid, everything wasn't that everything was too big. It was like, it was like mostly too big. I didn't turn out any bottoms, but also I, I wasn't feeling like anything. So I think my Torrid days might be over. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, but yeah, everything's been fitting a little, um, too big from from there so that's it for week 109 I'm up point four <laughs> um, for the week and just pushing on I had my post op appointment my monthly post op appointment today um, and the monthly appointments have been really helpful for me. And I don't know if that's something that they're doing because telehealth is an option now, but I really like it. And I find that it helps me stay on track. Um, and also just talking out things like my bad habit of snacking in the evening. <laughs> um, they actually have given me things that are like useful. Um, one of those things, and like rather than like discouraging me from like any snacking, saying like having, like choosing things that are like high taste and low calories, like overall. Um, so like the snacks that I have would be um, like bread and, bread and butter pickles or pepperoni, like that type of thing where you're getting like a lot of bang for your buck versus, you know, a handful of nuts or something like that, that maybe has like more of a mild flavor, but like a ton of calories. So yeah, I like the, the monthly appointments. And Dory had mentioned that, I think in her last video about um, her doctor, I think her doctor does walks or something like that. And I think she might've been on her way to an appointment. So, oh, hi Dory. Um, but also um, like how important it is to have like those post, post ops, um, not just for accountability, but like also, you know, to feel like someone is on your side. And I think today was actually the first time they ever commented on like how I look, um, like meaning like you, like you're looking good. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling really positive about that. Um, and it came at a good time since I happened to be up point four, uh, this week. So that's it. Um, if anyone is holding off on having appointments because of the whole, like quarantine 15 or, in, you know, regain or any of that, um, I would just encourage you to bite the bullet and still have it anyway, because the sooner you, you do it, like the sooner you'll, um, you know, get back on track or if you're stalling, um, you know, get out because, I mean, think about all the different patients that they see you know, we, if we have a regain or whatever, we're not special, especially in the context of everything going on. There are lots of people, um, that are having trouble, like even beyond us. <laughs> Speaking of trouble, oh my gosh, if I didn't have my loose skin, look how awesome that would look. <laughs> uh, one day. <laughs> All right, that's it. I will see y'all next week. Bye.